Hello and welcome to our session today. Today we shall be looking at one of the major fundamental uh, uh, part in the human that is, those are the body the body cavities okay so the body cavities we all appreciate that we normally have spaces in the human body that normally play a crucial role in housing protecting vital body organs as well as facilitating various physiological processes so it's very important for us to understand as nurses that uh, these body cavities do exist because it's a fit for the, our general knowledge as medical prof professionals. This topic is also interesting to the general population where they can also try and appreciate how complex our bodies are. So to understand this, we can start with the major anatomical region, starting with the, do the, bo the dorsal body cavity. So the dorsal body cavity is also referred to as the posterior, all right? We have, of course, uh, the body cavity is divided. We have the first one for the posterior and the one that is in the anterior side. So the anterior, we have the ventral cavity. For the posterior, we have the dorsal cavities, okay? So the dorsal cavities are cavity in the back of the body as compared to the ventral where it is in front of the body. So for the dorsal cavity, it's further subdivided into two major compartments. We have the cranial cavity, which houses the brain, and also the spinal cavity, which also houses the spinal cord, okay? The spinal cavity can also be referred to as the vertebral cavity. On the other hand, the ventral cavity is also divided into two major compartments. We have the thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity. For the thoracic cavity, it, this one is further divided into uh, two major regions. We have the pleural cavities where we have the lungs being housed there and these are very important in breathing. While the mediastinum uh, has the trachea and the oesophagus along with another body cavity in it which is the pericardial cavity and the pericardial cavity houses majorly the heart and the uh, great vessels. Abdominal cavity is further subdivided into smaller uh, compartments, that is abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity. So the, ab the abdominal cavity houses the liver, the stomach, the pancreas and the intestines, while the pelvic, the pelvic um, cavity houses the bro, the bladder and reproductive organs. So, ladies and gentlemen, you see, understanding this concept is very key for us uh, as, as nurses because we are able to appreciate this to, uh, it for the structural knowledge. Also, it serves as uh, just a proof of the, this uh, complex design of our human body. So, this one normally allows seamless coordination of various physiological functions in our body. More so, uh, they also underscore the importance of maintaining the integrity and ensuring health to ensure uh, overall well-being. So in conclusion, anatomical cavities are not just the spaces within our bodies, they are the complicate, uh, complicate structured domains that house and safeguard our most vital organs. So as we continue to explore uh, human anatomy, we have to appreciate the complexity of these cavities and the role that they play in sustaining life and promoting health.